Are you a rookie agent? Oh, you... No. Are you, you a rebel agent? Uh, yeah. I'm kind of a rebel, Tomar. You a renegade legend? Yep. Hey, Chrissy. Are you with me? I'm with you. So, Chris, have you ever played a Ratchet and Clank game before? No. Never ever? Never ever 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 ever. Do you, do you know who voices Ratchet? No. Oh, well, you're gonna recognize his voice. Okay. This is new? It's the newest. Why does it look like an N64 game? <laughs> this is basically like a PlayStation 1 launch title. Immediately. We promise nothing nefarious will befall you. Look at that little critter. Whoa. It's baby Jar Jar Binks, and they're trying to kill him before he ruins the trilogy. Isn't Baby Binks, like, baby from Baby Day Out? Baby Binks? Was he really called Baby Binks? Yeah. You'd better believe he was. And Ooh. every single goddamn moment of his existence was a joy to watch. It's an armored ratch. Alright, well, you're a big fan of the originals? No. I, I've played one of the originals, and I played the reboot that people kind of didn't like. And I think the original that I played is the one that people say isn't the best one. I oh. played the, I think the third one. Either the second or the third one. Um, and he, I had never played one before that, so I thought it was pretty okay. There's, Avengers. Yeah, there's that centipede that crawled on your dick, Chris. <laughs> Wait, is that a story? Yeah. I must have missed that one. It was a 3.33 a.m. kind of a deal. Just like, one of those instances, you know, where there's a centipede the in the midst the of night. The half hour. Yeah, the peating hour, where, you know, the centipede comes. I woke up and I had a boil on my penis. And then I looked right next to the boil and there was a centipede biting into the boil. Creating the boil. <laughs> and that's when a brave warrior stepped in to destroy the centipede with its mighty hammer. Which was me. That's you, that's what you did to it. You <laughs> smashed its head. <laughs> that looks real. It gets to live on you forever now that the centipede has been vanquished. Just me. It's Femratch. Okay, Tomar. Say what you were gonna say. Yeah, say snatch it, go on. I didn't say that. <laughs> snatch it and mag. Dude, you're on board with the mank now. <laughs> Is that mank? It's so hard not to. Once you start, you can't stop. Saying mank? Yeah. Manking is an addiction, man. I was manking off earlier today, and let me tell you, I wish I could stop, but I just can't. This does look gorgeous. It does. Don't Listen to him. It's weird to throw a celebration for us. I mean, we haven't done anything heroic in years. You recognize him? Everyone Not at all. Who's no. who? Uh, I'll give you a hint. He likes to laugh. Luckily, Loads of people. Everyone likes to laugh. He likes to laugh, and uh, other people think he should stop laughing. <gasps> Jimmy? Right. Fallon? Uh, he plays sports ball. He's a little twinkus. What are you talking What? It's Titus? It's totally Titus. What? Listen to him. Oh, it's the guy that plays Titus? And I, I don't know what his actual name is, but yeah. <laughs> You probably shouldn't laugh anymore. Yay! He's having an alien party for all his friends! So everyone thinks you're cool, huh? Everybody. I'm pretty amazed at how this looks. This is insane. Yeah, no, I, I think you might like it as a 3D guy. I mean... In a I, 3D world. I'm 4D. You're, no, you're not. You're 30. What's your fourth D? Um... Uh... Fuck, you're right. You can't even name your dimensions. There's X, Y, Z, and uh... And one, two, three. It's like yeah. that old Jackson 5 song. Are you saying there's some kind of W dimension that I wasn't aware of? I was thinking of like Shrek 40 when they like spit at you and stuff. <laughs> my fourth <laughs> dimension is my, my spit. spit. Yeah. <laughs> that, we should incorporate that into any plays. Just flash on the screen when you should get spit on. And, uh, yeah, viewers... and when the technology comes along, we'll already have like a trigger, yeah, trigger but if you, point. If you want to beta test it, every time we flash this icon, spray yourself with water and just imagine Chris <laughs> spitting on you. We've been talking to Wu, uh, Susan Wu Spitsky. <laughs> she Susan says, was... I've been hoping to incorporate spit physics into YouTube. <laughs> Our new spit feature, which makes it so your favorite creators get 1 18th of the money. 
but incorporates spit for all the advertisers. So what's the deal with Ratchet and Clank? Why does everyone hate the movie and why does everyone hate the reboot? Uh, well, the movie and the reboot are like the same thing. Oh. The movie is uh, used as cutscenes throughout the reboot. What, really? Yeah. Yeah. So all the all the cutscenes in the reboots just like scenes from the movie. No way. I played the reboot. I didn't hate it, but I keep in mind I've only played like one of these before, right. and I don't remember too much of it, which which means I probably didn't love it. But I remembered it being pretty okay. It's a very pretty game. Yeah. Yeah, to me, all my As memories of, of any Ratchet and Clank I've ever played, and I haven't played a lot, so I'm not exactly a connoisseur, but it's just kind of a generic, like, platformer. It's not, like, bad. Oh, you're gonna get killed for saying that. People are gonna kill you, absolutely. But what's, I mean, what's not generic about it? Uh, I think it's just, like, people grew up with it, but it, it is, it is good. <laughs> it's, it's, I, I, I do like a lot of the things in it. Tomer, you can't say anything slightly negative about video games. I know, just can't do it. I know. We are going to take your bell end and hammer it. I'm Don't just... worry, he's getting his bell end hammered to the table for that. I later. guess I was just more of a Jack and Daxter guy. Yeah, I, I was too, but I, I still, I still do think Ratchet and Clank is real cool. I said something along the lines of, I tried playing Earthbound and couldn't get into it, and I got the most angry like Twitter DMs I've ever seen in my life. Oh yeah, no, you do not want to trifle with it. those people in their crappy <laughs> game. That's shit. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> No, I, everything I've heard is that is that it's a great game, but like, I feel like if you've played through it before, you'd understand why someone would be turned off by the early game, like, yeah. grindy JRPG stuff. Like, I didn't even say anything bad, I just said I couldn't get into it. That's yeah. enough to piss people off horrendously. I, I couldn't get into it either, so I mean, we're I going had, down on this ship together. Yeah, we, we, I had a similar experience when we when we were talking about Xenoblade the other day. Uh, I, I don't know. I got like, these guys on Twitter sending me like cutscenes, being like, "Does this seem like a bad game to you?" And I'm just like, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even say anything. I don't bad. even think it's I a bad game. I said I couldn't get into it. Unpopular gaming opinions. Oni plays edition. Let's go. Okay. Devil opinion. May Cry. The reboot is the no. I'm not. Okay. Opinion <laughs> one. Dante is not cool. Uh, opinion number two. Mario controls like shit. Opinion you number really three. Sonic it. should have a girlfriend. Sonic's too slow. We're not serious. You're especially not serious about that one. But uh. I was kidding. All of those opinions I said I made up. Yeah. But uh, Final Fantasy VII is flawless. Yeah, it totally is aged perfectly. <laughs> uh, okay, before we get into more trouble, let's move on to the goon dropship. What's oh, the goon. deal? Ah! You! Are we gonna goon after this? We are going to goon off. Oh gosh. We're going to, yeah. Listen, I'm really proud that me and Lyle got to the top of the goon cave subreddit of all time. <laughs> Wait, you did? Yeah. yeah. Because you brought up goon caves at on Oni Plays? We were gooning together and we said we should submit this. Yeah. Oh, you, oh, you submitted your gooning. If yeah. you hold hands when you goon, it actually multiplies the goonage by tunage. <laughs> so, you know. I cannot help but goon with my bros. Me and my bros always goon out together. Why do they have the same float over and That's stupid. They love to float. My bros and I have an agreement not to look each other in the eyes when we goon, but the other day I looked Steve right in the eye, and he looked back at me, and we never spoke of it since, and I I feel like I broke a rule, but I also feel like he was cool with it. I almost liked it? Oh, your robot's gonna propose to you. Clank, don't you know this is a sin? God will not accept this. You know what? I did see a video that so said you're uh, literally just killing enemies for everyone's amusement. Is that what's going on right no, now? No, th this this kind of got like they tried to invade the uh, parade. Oh, I see. Oh, like me at Pride, I got in. I didn't want to say anything, but I got in, and I was just there, and nobody noticed how straight I was. <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> the fools. You had nothing to be proud of, and yet you were present at Pride. Yeah, I didn't even go to shame. <laughs> Miss just totally skips shame and went straight to pride. I love this guy's voice. It's so fun. I like his design. He sure did it. <laughs> you thought I was an idiot, but look at this! <laughs> oh, he Can fucked it. Fish! <laughs> <laughs> He's going to the fish dimension without us. He has his own float. What a dung. He's an asshole. It's a hologram. 
Oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to spoil it, but uh, it's a hologram. <laughs> You'll never guess. See? It's kind of genius, actually. It's really cool. By the way, all these cutscenes are real time. Yeah, I, I noticed that like when it transitioned out of the last one, you were just in control. Yeah, it, you uh, you get like outfits and stuff later on, and they show up in the cutscenes, which implies that they're real time. Truly a gorgeous, gorgeous game. Yeah, it's got to be unreal, right? Uh, no, I think they have their own engine. Wow. And you're wow. not allowed to have it, Chris. I don't want it. Oh, you're gonna change your tune on that real quick, Mister. I made my own engine for my game. Is it called the Scuto engine? <laughs> it should be. That's a good idea. No, you can take that. That's yours. Nah, I gotta use Unity. Is it because you're a Unity eunuch? I'm a Unity. Unity? They call him. They call them unicorns. The uh, developers that use Unity, because they're so unique. They spell I think it with the a majority Q. of develop of game developers alive currently are use unique? Unity. <laughs> Wait, isn't a unicorn someone that fucks swingers? Is it? I think so. I'm that, pretty sure. I I'm, I had a very brief stint like on have, Tinder. I feel like I have heard that expression too. Yeah. His name's like Nefarious? Yeah, he's Dr. Nefarious. Just That's like great. Times. But yeah, I was gonna say, before Tomer fucking called me and, uh, you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> that didn't uh, happen. But, uh, people... I saw, <laughs> what'd you say? I said whatever. <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> alright. Uh, I saw a video that said people didn't like Ratchet no more because he used to be more of a, a brash dickhead in the originals and now he's like this wide-eyed Pixar character with no personality. Yeah, uh, I think that this game is a sequel to the originals and not the reboot. Oh, that's um, cool. But yeah, he uh, he's a little... Uh, you gotta little... pick between the Shatter Bomb and the Enforcer. Yeah, like the the reboot, There is a, he's a lot of like, I yearn to go somewhere else and like... Yeah, yeah it's like it's, a Disney princess. Yeah, kind of. Um, I, I can't really speak on it, but it, it was, yeah, it just was what it was. There's Sharkman, Chris. I know how much you hate those, but can't you just make an exception this once? This looks so neat. It does, yeah. Yeah, I know. I like all I'm the designs I'm just enjoying and watching. Yeah. Yeah, I thought you might like, like, the particles and the farticles. Yeah, it's like, no, that looks great. It's It'll... like the feet are coming right at you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you blowing them into pieces? Yeah. The people? Oh, not the people. No, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I thought you meant like their armor. Yeah, like all comes their off. armor just just falls apart. Yeah. Are they bleeding green? They're bleeding. They're they're wearing their hearts on their sleeves and they're bleeding for you and your entertainment. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Can you try to kill these innocent people? I can try, but I won't succeed. Aww. They kind of react like ah. That's what happens when you're a good guy and you try to shoot an innocent. They just go, "Ouch!" They don't actually <laughs> die. So, if you're a good guy with a gun out there, no need to worry. Put down the dimensionator. Yeah. The dimensionator. That's us making fun of his voice in Final Fantasy X. <laughs> that is something that I think about a lot, right? Making in, fun of him? No, no, no. In video games, let's say there's an NPC standing there and you're a good guy. Uh -huh. In the story, you're a good guy, but if you want to kill the NPC as the player and you do it, do you let the player do it and it just breaks the story, or do you prevent them from doing that? That's tough. It is tough, isn't it? Um, Because I can see why they don't want you to do that, but also let you do it if you want to. I don't know. Yeah, I, I do like when they react in some way, shape, or form, even if they don't, like, die, you know? But like, like if they if they like duck or flinch or something, you know, I I like that. Hmm. Obviously, you can't have Link like fucking drive his sword into someone's like, flank, right? I like but, the idea of a game where every NPC has a, like a full backstory and like if you Whoa, and anyone awesome. you murder, you'll like hear about it on the news. Yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> but yeah, I thought you might like that effect. What the fuck? Whoa. That's amazing. But I'm thinking about it, like, if in Zelda, Ocarina of Time, you could cut people's legs off... <laughs> I think it would be everyone's favorite game. I think people would actually like it more. P people would like it. I feel like as a kid, you'd especially like it, because you'd be like, Whoa, this game lets you do that! Yeah. Like, I, I know I played a fuck ton of Jack, too, just because it lets you, like, kill the NPCs. Yeah. And it was like, oh man, I can't believe they let you kill civilians! Well, I can totally see why they don't want you to do that. I get it. Yeah. No, have you ever played Might and Magic, the 
what was it called? Dark Messiah. Was that like the, oh, the yeah. Elder Scrolls Oblivion one with physics? Yeah, I think they got a good balance where you can do it, but when you do it, it's kind of like mission failed. But they let you see what you do, and then it just like, it's like you fuck it, you fucked up. Go back and do it again. So you just like kick NPCs out windows and like lol. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's a hard choice. It's a it's a line you gotta walk. I mean. As an adult with like no restrictions on anything, I just want to see you be able to fucking. Cut Are they turning legs everybody off. into like house plants? What's uh, going the, on? The, the whole like world's gun fucked because uh, the dimensionator got used. I see. It's oh. like an unstable thingy, majig. So like everything's falling apart. But yeah, it's just it's just getting real purple in here, and frankly, I've had it. <laughs> <laughs> this just came out. Yeah, this came out like yesterday. Wow. Just to, to give you a timeline of events. So is this considered Ratchet and Clank 4 or whatever the fuck? Uh, I don't know. There, there were a lot of them. There were like two on the PS3, so I, I don't know. Mm. They do reference the other games a little bit, but uh, it, it, you don't need to have played them to play this, I don't think. I'm doing fine with it. I'm just trying to get into the head of the avid Ratchet and Clank fan, you know? I mean, I, I, I think it's just cool. I think this one's neat. Whoop! Whoop! That is such a crazy effect. Yeah, no, it, it, I, I'm not gonna say anything, but there, it does more. Wow. Ha, ah, good thing you're an idiot. <laughs> These are cool enemies. Yeah, they're neat looking. Pretty much all the character designs in this are really, really cool. Like, this game looks like a fucking Pixar movie. It's so good. Look at him go! Oh, oh my god. I want to say if they keep up this level of, like, thrill, or if this is just going to be the cool novel level one, get you hyped up, and then everything you know else is going to feel par for the course. I've played maybe, like, three, four hours of this. I think it's going the other way. I actually oh, wow. think, like, it, it gets, gets better. Me. Yeah. That's what I would want. That's what I would hope for. Yeah, that's... But you know, you know what I'm talking about. A lot of games do that. Yeah, they, yeah. They kind of blow their load in level one. This definitely doesn't. Okay. Oh fuck! I am. I am. Use your eye the frames. Bath. I don't have those. The dodge doesn't give you eye frames. No, no. Oh. Or maybe it does, but not not enough to be significant. I'm supposed to be double jumping, but I'm stupid. You see. I'm but a simple stupid man. My With brain does not allow for common actions. My brain is actually so busy thinking about physics that uh, I cannot simply jump. I must process the universe moving around me as a central point. All right, Lyle, then what happens if you throw a donut into a black hole? Uh, it fucks off real bad. What happens to the it hole It doesn't. The it actually retains all of its mass. The hole gets filled in. The hole becomes matter, and the donut becomes antimatter. Wrong. No, you don't know what you're talking about. If you throw about. a donut into a black hole, the the hole of the donut wraps around the black hole and it inverts and the whole universe becomes a donut. You'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> kind of. You and your uh, keto diet that you're trying to stick to. What are you talking about? Yeah, you just want the world to be a big donut, don't you, Porky? I've literally been eating shit all week. <laughs> <laughs> well, you showed me. <laughs> I've been eating shit <laughs> It's not my fault, we live in California. Where everything's delicious. No, everything's just fucking full of sugar, and if it's not, it, it has cancer in it. I don't know if that's state dependent at all. It's California's way worse. You th if Been anything, I think, I think California's better because we have those creepos that don't wear shoes that demand like their ketchup be organic. And like, yeah, we're like the number one state for like organic hippy dippy crap, I thought. <clears throat> no. Or at least we're in a fierce competition with Oregon for it. You know uh -oh. what? That makes perfect sense. There he goes. Maybe I'm just fat. There I go. Whoa! Dude, this looks so good. Oh! Wow. Dude, you're going through a wrinkle in time! I love that movie! No, no you don't! <laughs> I love that movie. I always show it to people whenever they come over. <laughs> that movie is unfucking believable I think I think we watched it together. We did. And there's like this 
absolutely psychotic part where one of the characters just turns into a giant leaf and flies yeah. around and Oprah. is never addressed oh, yeah. again. And you, they rub their hands on her head. And it seems like <laughs> Oprah couldn't couldn't make anyone else's recording schedule, so she just green screened. She's green the screened film. in the whole movie, yeah. <laughs> and the little girl turns to her randomly at one point and goes, "You're all so beautiful." <laughs> it's so weird. I'm glad it exists. That better not be nefarious, dude. It, it is. You know it is. Don't set yourself up for disappointment like that. Already you're determined to hate it. I like him. Okay, good. This is the part where you lose. You can still hit him. You got time. No! Holy Just shit. annihilated the planet. And that's where the game <laughs> ends. Hope you guys enjoyed it. He's armless in Seattle. A fate worse than death. Who are you? Someone with a lot of questions. Let's go for a ride. Yeah. He's getting abducted. Wait, I have to find my friend. Lol, don't play as that bitch, please. Fine. So Plays she that. is like the alt reality ratchet. You'll is see. That? Okay. Either you'll see or you just guessed it, but I won't tell you which. Okay. <laughs> that would totally be what I would do if I had a big golden statue of myself. I like this guy. I do too. I know that he's not supposed to win, but I kind of want him to. Yes, Emperor. I feel like that's a huge cliche. I've seen it a million times. This what whole the... this whole thing has been full of cliches as far as like the script goes. But... Yeah, but it's fun. It's like playing a Saturday morning cartoon. Yeah. Or like a it's honestly like playing like a Pixar movie or something. It's like a Pixar morning cartoon. It's like it's like Pixar's Big Morning with John Lasseter. I don't that mind. was a weird program. That, that was weird. I was gonna well, say really short lived. But, yeah, but I have fun memories. All that weird like POV hugging the camera stuff, where he just whispers into your ear and licks you. Oh stop. <laughs> <laughs> P.S. I don't actually hate cliches. I just don't like them when they're just the same exact thing I've seen before. Yeah. No. If you put a spin on them, they can be really fun. Sometimes it does feel like it's just people like re like repeating what they've seen yeah. and not like. Using the cliches for effect for any other effect beyond like this is what a this is what a thing should be like. Yeah, I think they can be useful if you don't want to explain something and you just want to be like, eh, it's like this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, still, I would. But I, I also now now I'm going to double hypocrite and say I fucking hate it when movies and shows go like, oh, you mean like Back to the Future? And the the character goes, yes, like Back to the Future. Where they just reference something? Well, when they use the cliche for like expediency and then they say, oh, it's like that movie Back to the Future, haha. -ha. Oh, Endgame did that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. Back to the Future is a good movie to reference. Yeah, but I don't want to hear the characters say it. I want the characters to be blissfully unaware of everything that went oh, on. Oh, like that McFly kid in that one movie? Yeah, no, I want to. I want them <laughs> to say, to McFly, <laughs> I've never heard it. I, I barely know him. And that's what they have to say. And then they can do it. And this is all real. Back to the Future will never be topped, ever. You don't mean that. It's my favorite movie. Okay. Well, maybe you Wait, do mean really? that. Yeah. It's like my favorite movie, too. Is it really? I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, it's my favoritest movie. I would have thought yours would be like a Lord of the Rings or a Harry Potter thing. Lord of the Rings, I love, but it's, it's not my favorite movie. Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Rings is one of my favorites. Say, Back to the Future is like the one movie that I could watch any time. Yes, it is the best film I've ever seen. <laughs> and it's the most likable, and it's got the best soundtrack. It's iconic. Who's this fat bitch? She's your mom, dude. <laughs> no, I, I, I know I make fun of your mom a lot on and off camera. You have done that a but lot. But she's actually really nice. Have you met her? No, but I want to. Everyone else has met her. Yeah, how come you don't introduce... Is it because I keep making fun of her both on and off camera? I think your tribal tattoos would make her puke. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Bitch deserves it. I didn't mean that either. <laughs> oh. Oh. I love my mommy. She's stealing your friend. 
maliciously. How can I get off planet? Fuck you. Only royal starships are allowed to leave anything else. Phantom can help. Just follow the beat to Club Nefarious and you will find him. Club Nefarious. And you will find him. Now I tell you what. Was he always voiced by this guy or just for the reboot? No, he's always been him. Really? Since the beginning of time, yeah. That's crazy. Since he was born, in fact. Do you think he got the Titus roll because of this, or do you think he got this because of the Titus roll? I don't know which came first. You're just asking me to remember dates at this point, and I I'm, am. Not, I'm not biting the it hook really, on this really, one. It really is just a, <laughs> just a matter of sequence. Law, what's your favorite movie? Ugh, oh, Jesus. I, I actually don't know. Um... I, I, I don't want to like red flag the three female viewers that we have, but I really do like Fight Club. Mm. Uh, you know what? Baby Driver was really good. So that's I don't your know. favorite? That was I'm, one I'm I not... thought was really fun, but I've only watched it the one time Same. when it came out. I've never I, needed to watch it again. It's I weird. typically do only watch movies one time. Maybe so two, I guess. I want to stop. Uh, yeah, no, I, I've actually come to the point where I don't like seeing movies more than a lot now. I, I, I used to have like a hard, like, I'm never going to watch a movie twice. And maybe that is why Fight Club was like, whoa, really early on, because like that's a movie that like begs you to watch it twice. Mm. And it is really a different movie the two times you watch. So that's a movie I could watch twice, which is why it was my favorite for a while. It's not because of all the like, I don't know, whatever people fucking get mad at people for liking that movie for. I didn't, I, I didn't know that was a thing to get mad at people for liking Fight Club. I, it's like a Rick and Morty kind of thing, where like, <laughs> oh. the, the people that really like it and the people that really dislike it both kind of are assholes. That's fair. It, it, it's like one of those things, where like, there are people that dislike I, it where it's like, Fight Club is about a fucking dude who's a fucking man and he's a man and it's like, Fight Club's kind of about how that guy is like an asshole, so it's, <laughs> I don't know. And then there's people that also love the movie, but also don't get that. You found a rift, you found a rift! Yeah, let's rift it open! Boing. <laughs> uh, keep boinging and keep living. That's my message to you, audience. You, Do you think they'll uh, quote that for years to come? Fuck! Probably okay, not. I, didn't, I, can, I didn't die. Yeah, you're right. You shouldn't be here. This is a forbidden realm. <laughs> I thought he was gonna pop the float you were on. There, I put a bullet between his eyes. Show him for meddling in things he can't possibly understand. You return to the live stream. The Streamoverse. Oh, dude, that'd be a great, great movie. The Streamoverse. We could have all of our Twitch streamer favorites. Someone needs to make a movie about how shitty being like a fucking content creator is. <laughs> Uh, about, about all the downsides of it. About how un unhealthy it is to think like one. You can get this and you can put on uh, you got a little robot head. Woo! That's cool. It goes on and off his head when a cutscene starts. So it doesn't like ruin cutscenes by being like this like mm. mono, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get you. It's cool. Also, yeah, let, let me clarify. What I meant was, yeah, literally just to think like a content creator and get so invested in, in the world of daily uploads and shit like that. I feel like a lot of content creators themselves have tried to make that, but it comes across as super shitty because it's like... Because <laughs> it's like, I don't appreciate the audience and, and the like all of the opportunities it's given me kind of thing. Kind of. I also feel like they try to oversell it. I did like the new Bo Burnham special because like... I haven't seen it. It, it, does, it does show him kind of... Like, it's a little bit sad, but it doesn't try to oversell it as like, Bo Burnham is suffering so profoundly. It's just like, oh, it's kind of weird that he like... Like, there's just a scene in it where he, like, he just turns 30. It's like him next to a clock. He's like, all right, I just turned 30. I guess I'm going to go back to making it. Dude, the day I, tur I turned 30 was so fucking sad and fucked up. Did Why? You, uh, I just hated it. It's What's like, so bad about being in your 30s? It's evil. <laughs> yeah, don't ever do it, kids. I love it. Well, I love being older. I get to sit in my fart and couch all day. See, this is the, this is the difference between someone who commits to being bald and someone who doesn't. <laughs> I guess so. I I love the wisdom that's come with growing up Whoa. and being alive for longer than other people. True. I like how he's screaming out loud in this club like, Hey! Is there the guy who's running the underground secret, uh, illegal business? <laughs> drugs? I heard I can buy drugs here! <laughs> well, well, you fucked up. Now they know. 
Resistance alert! Ooh. Can't believe. First mission in forever and my cover's blown. My cover's blown. Cowabunga. You know what I really... Whoa! You know what's jarring me out the most? Hmm. Every time the camera changes, there's not, like, textures fading in and out or, you know, little frame skips or whatever. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, it's like, flawless so it's far. It's too good. It's freaking too good. It's amazing. I don't understand how they do it, man. I don't understand why it's real. It's Skid McMarks. The PS5 really did does seem like it was a huge like step forward from the ps4 i feel like this game is specifically made to make you feel that way <laughs> like i i feel like they probably were like can Maybe you take advantage right. of our solid state drive and that's why the dimension well <laughs> goodbye I, like that's why the dimension thing is a thing and it works like i'm not saying that is a bad thing by the way i don't know that like the game needed it but like sometimes you know creativity comes out of like a limitation or like a like a prompt, you know? Yeah. Sony was probably like, you gotta do something where they, like, move fast. That's another thing that I that I learned semi-recently, uh. is uh, a lot of games, like, the second you stop looking at something, it disappears. Yeah. And, oh, yeah, and yeah. that's why, that's, that's why, optimization, like, yeah. Yeah, that's why a lot of games, like, they have a reason, they have some annoying thing where you're like, why can't my character just, I don't know, sprint forever or like do something, like it's literally the game being like, if you do that, you're gonna freeze. So like, we gotta, we gotta artificially slow you down. I don't want to give it away, but this game has parts where you move really, really fast. Oh. Even and faster uh, than in Sonic Adventure? Oh, you fucking better believe it. <laughs> Sonic, eat your heart out. There's a new speedster on the block, and his name is Chris O'Neill. Wow! Yeah, that's a lot of pressure for you. Yeah. And uh, you gotta rise to the occasion. You know what I've kind of noticed recently, too? That I keep putting you on the spot? I'm sorry. Uh, can you stop and just stand for a second and look around? Uh, look up in the sky? Like, all of the lights, they all... They all have like uh, rays, like you know, casting down the volumetric lighting, right? Yeah, ray tracing. Uh, well, like a year or two ago, that shit was super, super intensive. But now, because of like the ray tracing cards, it's like everything is using it, and everything looks twenty times better now. Yeah, it's, it's real. It, cool. It's crazy how much of a difference just that one thing makes. It's all about dedicated ray tracing cores. Yeah. I just can't believe that. We've come this far so fast. People say graphics don't make the video game, but uh, we're smart and Earthbound shit and no. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I never checked if I... I keep entering the new egg shuffles every day trying to get a, a an NVIDIA 3000 series card. Get me card, one. And every time I lose. Summer, if you find it, give it to me and you'll get one later. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. no. I always get this email that says... Joshua, you weren't selected in the New Egg Shuffle. That sucks. I don't even know what the other email looks like. I can't even imagine the taste of it. Dust taste of it. Oh, these fucking guys. Oh boy. This guy's voice sounds a little familiar too. He probably he sings is, Ocean uh, Man. He probably does. He does. <laughs> Ocean Man. Take me by the hand. Dude, this game looks kind of good. Just hang on. Yeah, just a touch, but uh, I oh think God. I think my game looks better. Super Lyle Swords four. Super Lyle Swords, yeah. <laughs> How many Lyle Swords are in Super Lyle Swords four? I mean, four. that would be a massive spoiler, dude. Four. There's people in this audience that are still playing it that probably wouldn't like me to reveal that information. It's a shame they had to take it off the PlayStation Network for yeah being for so having for good. having too much pipe laid. Epic. Why the fuck did you do that? Um, because oh, I, got it. I made it. Didn't you know I? what? My bad. Yeah. You do you. I'm sorry I doubted you. You should be. Is Run Cyberpunk Rogus. still fucked? Yes, absolutely. That's awesome. We should we should pick it up again sometime. It, it's not it's not glitchy like it was, if that's what you mean. But it's. Still I, mean, I like, think half the glitches we experienced were because we didn't up, upgrade the uh, oh, no. graphics drivers before we started playing it. Uh, really? I mean, we definitely didn't at the time. Uh, that's that's okay. But it definitely it's, it's made funnier. it funnier. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I kind of like that's pretty much the only reason to play it is to like fucking laugh at the glitches. I'm sure it's still got a zillion of them. 
But also, like, not everything wrong with that game was a glitch, which is unfortunate. Yeah. The last thing I, I heard about that was there's, like, a class action lawsuit against it. Yeah. That's Wait, crazy. really? By whom? I, I think by the, the, like, shareholders. Yeah. Oh, that's right. It's insane. Yeah. On what grounds, though? That On the grounds. Do you really get to sue somebody for not deli not delivering you the profits you wanted? Like, probably isn't not. Is that I, supposed to be risk that no, you take as an investor? No, but I also think like, from their perspective, they could be like, you could have fucking worked on it more. And you just kind of fucked this by rushing it out. I don't know. Yeah, I I think um, I I think that it has something to do with like the PlayStation Store. Like the game was in such a bad state. Oh yeah, the that, PlayStation like, Store did take it down yeah. temporarily, didn't it's they? It's still down. It's still Wait. down to this day, yeah. Wait, you still can't buy this on no. PlayStation Store? Cyberpunk, no, Cyberpunk, you can't. Yeah. Or sorry, that's what I meant. Not this, Cyberpunk. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty crazy. So, yeah, I don't know, like, my, my hope for that game is absolutely dead, like, as it should be. Like, I think that if that game had no glitches and they just kept, like, working on it and tweaking shit and just kind of did what they did with The Witcher, it might have ended up okay, but... They're gonna spend so much time fixing like five different versions of that game to get it baseline playable that it's it's never gonna get kind of the treatment that it needs to get anywhere. I still wind up playing quite a bit of it at home, but yeah, I have like it's not a terrible game, but it it's leaves it, plenty to be desired. It made me feel like I was being too harsh on Fallout 4, which is not yeah, I know what you mean. not a fucking <laughs> glowing review by by any standard. This is the voice of the resistance. This is the voice of the moist, and I've got something to say. To my girlfriend, Joyce. <laughs> the Joyce. moistest minx in the galaxy. Moist, Joyce? Joyce the moist? Will you moistry me in holy moistrimony? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Slides in on her moist parts. <laughs> on her moist towelette mobile. <laughs> <laughs> she sounds beautiful. I would fucking, I would take a towel to her and just take wipe my towel. brow with her. <laughs> I would take a towel to you, my love. <laughs> I'd towel you down. And I wouldn't marry her, but I'd certainly take a towel to her. <laughs> I'd wipe you a bit. That's the move you do in the gym when you like you spread your legs and you go back to front with the towel. Oh, that's it's like the uh, it's like the can you rub lotion on my back? It's like can you. <laughs> Can you towel my grundle? Please, babe. Please soak up the excess moisture that's gathered betwixt my my nethers. Betwixt? Betwixt. That's my favorite candy. These guys are real cool. Like they have like good squash and stretch on everything. Like their legs and shit especially. It is quite beautiful, isn't it? Boom. I want to see a game like Call of Duty with a ton of squash and stretch for no reason. <laughs> That'd be good. Like you reload and your fucking arm turns into a noodle. Yeah, I'd love that. I'm surprised there's nothing like that. Maybe with like there the is. popularity of stuff like Fortnite. There's Boneworks, which is kind of as close to anything like that that I can think of. Really? I think so. I thought it was a VR game. It is, but it's fucking wacky. Hmm. Look at that guy. Hmm. That guy's name is Skid McMarks. See his his helmet, his helmet like dissolves for the cutscene. Oh. They animated it like dissolving and coming back. I've got lots of forbidden porn on there, so don't click around <laughs> anything that's not this again? spider. What is he again? Lombax? Ratchet? Yeah, he's a Lombax. I like saying Lombax. It's a fun word. That's a little bit of a thing in this game. So uh, he is the only Lombax. Oh, that's why it's a big deal that there's a Fembax? Yeah. Uh, so, like, there is him and only him in... I think they established that the Lombaxes are from, like, another dimension. That That's why when Clank proposed to him at the beginning, that I was what I just thought they was... maybe had been hunted down for their exotic <laughs> pelts. To him. Yeah, he, he, he goes, Ratchet, will you... No, I'm kidding. I fixed the uh, dimension thingy. Oh. And then, uh, yeah, so that was why he was fixing it, was because he wanted him to go and find the other Lombaxes. But, oh. Yeah. oh, so that's why they were fixing that thing in the first place. But then Jesus, it was, this then is it huge. was appropriated by, uh, what was that guy's name? Nemesis or something? Appropriated? <laughs> That's a, that's a good, I, I guess, yeah, you could well, appropriate. Look how fucking yeah. good that appropriated looks. is the appropriate word. I guess it is, yeah. Because, uh, 
Dimension hopping is culture, man. Hi. This looks like a better Midgar than the Final Fantasy VII remake. It looks really good. You know what it kind of reminds me of is like Jack 2. Yeah, it does look like that. It's yeah. just like really nice. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Mr. Fungi. I'm gonna get Mr. Fungi because that's really good. Also, I uh, I can't get the word of Tron Collider. The word of Tron. The word of Tron. I don't want to say it. It's just the opposite of positive. <laughs> All right. I mean, you're you want to be the one that steps out on the plank? Be my Go guest. Go on, Tobar. You can say it. <laughs> so there are these little uh, side things like there's like do you want me to do it or do you want me to just a little go? side quest yeah yeah go for it i don't gotta just do it okay i guess if you're really insisting but please please have fun now, where's that statue again yeah do us all a favor lyle and have a great time thanks guys no problem i didn't think you'd be supportive of my side questing ways what planet are you on i don't know I, it's got a name i just don't know it run up that wall Lyle, I personally think it's great that you do side quests. Oh, thanks, Tom. That is so cool. Now I can tell all my friends I have a side questing buddy. Uh, may maybe don't use me as your token, but uh, <laughs> I appreciate that you appreciate it. <laughs> all right, get him! Kill him! Kill them! Come on, man. <laughs> See, now I got little turret buddies. Oh, that's what the, uh, the Mr. The, Fungi. The Mr. Fungi does. Yeah, there, he was a different thing in the other. He was called Mr. Zircon. I think he's actually in this game as, like, a character. But he was, like, this guy that was like, Mr. Zircon lusts for your pubes or something. Like, he'd, like, scream. What? Yeah, he'd, like, scream shit like that as he was, like, shooting people. Why do you hide, stinky aliens? Mr. Zircon only wishes for to kill you. Do the wall jump. Eradicated? I better head to the loading platform fast. I'm an eradical rat. He's a radical rat. I always fucking hated that shit when Don Atello would fucking say that. When he'd say he's a radical rat? Yeah, it's like silence Don Atello. It is weird because he's not Absolutely. he's not radical. No, he's, he's old and wise. Yeah. He probably would actually not like to be that, called uh, radical. That really pisses me off, you're right. Yeah. Next time I've been you thinking about take... that for like 20 years. Did Me you too. ever think about all the machines Donatello does? Yeah, he does too many machines. He made Ice Cube Maker. He made eyes at my girl. <laughs> I'm fucking tired of it, Which man. Which turtle uses the stick? That's Don, That's Don Atello. Atello. He is the biggest shithead. You're I right. absolutely despise. He was always my favorite. Why? Because he had the longest range in all the video games. Okay, that makes sense. I'll give you that. I always liked uh, Raphael. Because he was cool but rude. Michelangelo is a good second choice. He's I like a party the cool, dude. I like the cool part. Who's I don't know the, about who's the, the rude. fourth one? Uh, no one cares. Leonardo. Yeah. Oh, he's the big loser. He he is kind of that's a bit. The, he's the one with the katanas. Yeah, he he's like the strongest one. That's like s surprise, surprise, the least interesting. Yeah, his personality is that he's the leader. Yeah. That's it. I remember. Okay, so I've never actually been very invested in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Even as a kid, I was like, this is really bad. Like, the the, the show. But, uh, uh... You know the way the Michael Bay movies are really bad? Yeah. There's, like, one really good scene in each movie. Like, in the first movie, it's when they're, like, sliding down a snowy mountain, and it's, like, this amazing action set piece that's just actually good. And then... I remember I saw the trailer for the second movie, and it looks so fun, and then... All of the fun parts were just used in the trailer, and there was all this boring filler in between. Oh, that sucks. And that's what I hate about his movies. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, since we're starting off with making enemies, I'm gonna <laughs> go out on a, on another, like, enemy-making binge. I think that, like, as far as, like, the franchises, you should give someone like Michael Bay mm -hmm. big talking turtles with swords and fucking cars that turn into robots yeah. are probably, like, the best you could go with it. It's just sad because he like those movies suck but all he needs to do to make them enjoyable is have them be fun action movies from start to finish but it's, there's always this like boring filler with humans that nobody care about. Yeah that's true. Just, just fucking leave the fucking humans out. Nobody cares. What's that fucking asshole that's Shia every... LaBeouf? No. I, you know what? I actually like Shia LaBeouf in movies. What's that asshole he keeps using? Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg. Nobody fucking wants to see Mark Wahlberg! Right. I don't think that's true that nobody wants to see Mark Kids Wahlberg. Kids don't want to see him! <laughs> that's yeah, probably, when, that's when, probably true, yeah. I don't fucking care about Fart Wahlberg! He's so boring! 
He's just a fucking buff, good looking. Just get him off the screen and put the big robot on. Have you seen uh, Pain and Gain? No. I think that's actually Michael Bay's best movie. Really? Yeah, but Wahlberg's in it, so I don't know if that. I changes. think Transformers One is fine as it is. It's not great, but it's fine and it's entertaining because there's a ton of robots that walk around and talk in it. It's that's a good, all I need. Uh, yeah. But then all the other Transformers movies, just it's just people standing around talking. It's like I don't fucking care. Yeah, Jeff just have robots <laughs> knock the heads off each other. Jeff Goldblum comes in and like chews gum or something. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just wish they leave these fucking boring human characters out. Just make a cartoon. Tomer showed me the old Transformers movie from the eighties, and it. It is fucking amazing. You know that's an accident, Especially though, right? Especially the first part. But all they needed, like, they did what they needed. They just had a bunch of robots fighting for, like, two hours straight. It was fucking perfect. That is what I would want out of a Transformers yes. movie. Obviously, you need story to keep shit going, but they have just enough of that. That's fair. Did you cry when Octopotamus died? Yes. Okay. Because you said, Bumblebee, come closer. But he was but he, he was black facing at the time. But we all had a good <laughs> laugh when Starscream got turned to literal dust. That made me lol, you're right. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> because his voice is good too. Yeah. I my favorite thing about old Transformers is that Megatron turns into a gun, yep. and then he's got this fucking lackey that's always openly talking about how he's gonna betray him. Yep. And he's just like, he'll turn into a gun and be like, hold me. <laughs> and it's just like, dude, hold this guy's me. gonna throw you in the garbage. What are you fucking talking about? <laughs> I love his hold me. <laughs> that's what he does. Uh, hold me, shoot me. Don't make me pull my own trigger. What does Galvatron mean, Tomar? I, it, what do you mean? What does it mean? It's like it's like well, galvanized steel. It's like, oh, like that, I think that's it's like what it's a reference to. Oh, what is galvanized steel, Tomar? It's just I don't For know. For the it's, children oh, watching. Yeah, yeah, now I can do this. I I assume wow. it's got some sort of it's some sort of alloy, probably with a certain amount of carbon or something. Tomar, what's an alloy? It's a combination of more than one metal. Tomar, Whoa. what's a combination? Uh, Tomar, what's metal? Tomar. What does love feel like? This is Tomar's science corner. Come on, Tomar. <laughs> I'm gonna look up galvanized steel now. I don't actually know. <laughs> look up ga galvanized meal. No. I would, I would eat that. Galvanization is the process oh. of applying a protective zinc coating Whoa! to iron or steel. You're just going like to different That's like it. worlds now? Yeah, it does it like in the middle of boss fights. I am completely out of ammo for everything. Wow. Mr. Fungi is out of yammo. Ah! Be careful, Lyle. Look, look how good this looks. Ah, you're in another world. I'm in a whole new place. It looks like you went to that Sekiro game. Yeah, a little bit. Ah, this does look gorgeous. These bosses, like, especially look fucking great. Whoa! Whoa. So, so much so dimensional whiplash. I can't believe the amount of effort that went into this. It's so yeah, no, amazing. It's super cool. Oh! Get fucked! You did Woo! it! Aww. Okay. He's got a little... Yeah, hi. You must be Glitch. I'm Ratchet. You're fucking stupid. Oh. I could put you in a glass of water and you'd fucking die. Did you know? Did you know that your life is in my hands? So I'm gonna plug you into this dirty machine and you're gonna that live there forever. That doesn't look like it would fit. So you get to play as a robotic spider. I actually kind of like these segments. I usually don't like weird mini games where a thing crawls through vents, but <laughs> this is this is actually kind of cool. Yeah. But if there was a king of weird mini games where things crawl through vents, this is it. It really is. There's one later with Mank where it's like this weird like lemmings kind of thing that's a little less fun, but it's still it's still all right. I don't hate it. I kind of want to play Lemmings again to see if it's worth playing. I forgot all about that franchise. Well, now now you remember it. Wasn't it like kind of? It was kind of popular when the PSP came out. They made Lemmings for that, I think. I think there was a game for it that was Lemmings. I feel like its heyday was like the SNES era. Really? It was a cool concept. Maybe I'm wrong, but it was like well, like a PC game first, right? I think so. Yeah. I love those little bastards. 
But it definitely got a port to the SNES. I heard that real lemmings don't actually do that suicide thing, and it's a common misconception. Yeah, I heard that there's a guy that just throws them every time they want to get <laughs> yeah, one of those really videos. Yeah, it's really just one nefarious lemming murderer. <laughs> yeah. It's actually a secret society of lemming murderers. It's one guy that's made millions and millions of dollars. they since the year 350. He's been giving, like, seminars and, like, going to colleges and giving speeches. Ooh, you made it. I sure did. <laughs> He reminds me of Nitrous Oxide. Yeah, he's very similar, actually. Smash his cranium! Oh no. Just bashed him in the fucking head. After him! No! To be fair. If someone broke into your house and hit you with a wrench, you'd be kind of pissed. You'd react exactly as that was. You'd point and you'd scream. After him! Oh, no, 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 no! What'd you expect? Of us all. Password, please. <laughs> Why do I need a password? I'm the Emperor. How about I obliterate you instead? Ha, ha, ha! <laughs> That's genius. There it goes. I'm glad that worked. And there he is. Sargasso. Ah, the wide Sargasso outpost L51. That is beautiful. So, then this Dimensionator was stolen by Dr. Nefarious, who used it to bring you here? Now you just have to find your friend. Erm, um, okay. Erm, um, that's kind of zany. She's Jack missing her right arm. You've repeated everything I've told you, you horrible bitch. Hey, why doesn't she give him her, her extra arm? He's missing his. He deserves it more than she deserves <laughs> he it. He does. He's in the title of the game. He's a robot. She's, She's kind of appropriated his skin. Yep. If you think about it. And he's the man of the house. He does actually spend 14 hours later on in the game trying to make that point to her, and they just keep going in circles. <laughs> wow. He is the breadwinner. The breadwinner of the ship? <laughs> Look at that. It's real. Look at that bug. Don't do it, Lyle. Don't do it. All right. I won't. Thank you. What's her name? Gretchen? <laughs> yeah. Gretchen and it's Clank? A slatch it. Slatch it and Crank. Did I tell you today there was a huge red ant scout uh, at my house? A huge red ant scout? Yeah, there was a red ant scouting around like like my backyard. He was looking for food, yummy food food. Did you eliminate him in any hopes for, for his scouting mission? I picked up a medicine ball and I smashed him with it. Why didn't you just use, like, your fingy? Because, to him, that was like getting smashed with a meteor by a god. I guess that's true, but I don't think he really processed that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he appreciated the pageantry. Yeah, I, don't I think know. that was more for you than it was for him. I, I definitely felt like a god in that moment. <laughs> that's fair. And you gotta have that at least once or twice per week or you get all cranky. I've definitely gotten to the point where I despise ants, like, more than anything. That's fair. Yeah, they are a fucking huge- That's how I got with rats. Everyone probably thinks I'm some kind of monster, because it's like, Oh, I see them and they're cute, but like, dude, when they're like chewing on your shit, you're like, fuck you. No, the ants in my- I got a crazy ant problem where I, I can literally leave like food locked up inside cupboards and they, they find a way and they get through the cracks and there's just this huge line of them every time I go into the kitchen and I always like spray them with shit. I fucking hate them. They are kind of assholes. No, they suck. I don't feel bad about smushing them. No, I I recently started seeing ants at my place. They found little cracks in, like, in, in the shitty baseboard. They just get in. They just find, yeah. like, one tiny little hole, and then they're in. They're fuckers. My place is still ant-free. Not for long. Well, are you saying that you're going to bring them into my home to spite me, no less? I'm going to drop breadcrumbs all the way to your house. <laughs> and they're gonna come with you. <laughs> that would be really cool. Wow, look at that. Lol, well, how did they do that? Magic, dude. It is the all-powerful PlayStation 5. How come this fucking PlayStation game has cooler looking planets than Star Wars ever did? 
I know, right? Look how cool that is. It's almost like if you put like colors and stuff and shit, it looks cool. For some reason, the movie Star Wars has the most boring fucking alien planets possible. Cause it's just like the desert. It's the desert, or it's the it's the big snowy landscape. There's the desert and the snow and the swamp. <laughs> but I'm not gonna go shit on Star Wars planets. I am. I'm gonna shit I all over it. I thought they did a lot with what they had at the time. No, the the original ones is, are great. That's oh, that's all I was talking about. I'm talking about like the the new ones. Oh yeah, the new ones when they had the capabilities to literally put things anywhere. Yeah, I get you. And they still fucking do like Tatooine planet, or like snowy looking planet. Look at him go! What were they thinking? They were thinking we're Disney and we better do everything safe like we always do and just copy what they did in the original movies. You yeah. say that, but they went into Star Wars with zero plan whatsoever and a <laughs> cock full of cum. <laughs> just chock full of it. Ah. Why couldn't that Avengers game be more like this? Like good? Yeah. I love the Avengers game. I know you don't. I, I love I love the uh, Avengers game. Like, why couldn't it all have just been like Kamala Khan being a stupid? That's that all I wanted. Yeah, they had to just ruin the the game with the uh, online elements. That game is like no one's playing it too. They they keep like flailing and yep. it's not like working. His biceps but are so juicy. It, it almost doesn't matter because if they can trick like a couple thousand people into like wasting their whole life savings on it, it's made its money. <laughs> yeah. And there's probably a few people that have. There's a lot of games where that's the whole model is just like introduce some weird like compulsive gambling addiction element yeah. that only like one one to half a percent of your player base falls for, but that's really all you need. Yeah, exactly. And it's ex especially effective if you use it on children. Rich children truly are the like the the most sought after resource on the internet. It doesn't even matter if they're rich if they can convince their parents to like put in a credit card that they don't know is going to stay there. Like that's all it really takes. People people are like, oh, think of the ch it's like. People talk about like tits and blood or whatever, but like honestly, I'd, I'd rather a kid see like a titty or some blood than fucking like gamble, you know? Yeah. Like, cause that's, I, the, I feel like that's way worse. Then learn to gamble with with my money, yeah. It's like they're gonna see tits and blood. It's, it's gonna happen. We, were, I was looking at horrible shit when I was like twelve on the internet. I hate that guy. But there is something to kids just. Discovering terrible shit on their own versus throwing it right at them. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. You don't feed it to them. They gotta find it on their own. That's just part of growing up. Tomer, would you fuck this white goddess? Is she really white? No. Yep. Thought she was more of like a pink. No. Wait, are you colorblind? What are you talking about? Isn't she like pink? She's kind of like really and then bright blue. Pink? No. Wait, her? Yeah. What are you talking about, dude? You are colorblind. Wait, I, you think she's pink? Is this a bit? No, I have some color issues. <laughs> <laughs> she's fucking no, white. She's like, she's like bluish white, if anything. She's bluish white, she is. Maybe it's more of like a blue. I don't know. Tomer, you've got deep neurological problems. <laughs> Your eyes are coming detached. No, you know what? What? I usually really, really hate, like, furry characters and especially like when they make like furry women mm. uh, this character doesn't bother me i think they could have really doesn't bother you, you mean it gives you a little chub yeah yeah no uh it means what it means but um <laughs> no I, they could have ruined this character by giving her like a fucking like ponytail or something like that would have annoyed the shit out of me <laughs> Right? How do you like, feel about her her dual piercings i think that's cool i would prefer she had a, a big pink bow a pink dress uh, high heels. A giant hammer. Big lipstick. And, <laughs> uh, no titties. You're onto something there. And, honey. Oh, wow, that thing looks cool. Whoa, that is awesome. Yeah, he's awesome. Okay, guy who designed all this shit, you're pretty good. I'm willing to admit when I'm wrong. All right, dude, you're pretty good. Oh! Jesus. Are you helping the bad guys kill it? Me and kind Grunthor. Of. Yeah, it seems only... like it's a mutual interest to kill the Grunthor. Yeah, only circumstantially. That's so cool. Oh, by the way, my gun, uh, I leveled up my pistol all the way, so it's... Homing? 
It, it doesn't home, it just shoots three shots now. Ooh. Oh, you got a little triple shot, huh? Yeah, it's pretty neat. The guns in this game get crazy. I don't I don't want to use the pistol too much, but it is like pretty reliable. I just think it would be more visually interesting if I switched constantly. Wow. <laughs> Wow. wow, you made a whole elevator and you pressed the button. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what is wow? What are you what are you wowing? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Lyle! What have oh. I done? Oh, wait, she does have a hammer. Yeah. She's basically Amy Rose. Yeah, she 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 controls like identical to Ratchet, but she has different animations. Who has an engorged clit and wields a powerful hammer? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Number five. Dude, uh, fucking Guptil's the best. I hope he's still alive. One, two, buckle my shoe. I bet you Guptil is like a normal, friendly enough guy that you, if you did he find him. He seems like a lovely guy. I'm just saying, I feel like you could actually have him on stream if like, I would totally, if he were interested. If he was ever down, or not stream, would, but you know, on Oni Plays. I would love to talk to Guptil. I feel like you'd bring that up and you'd be like, yeah, I just kind of made this weird, embarrassing video. Why don't you keep bringing it up? <laughs> <laughs> it's just so iconic. It's it's a good video. It is a good video. Also, uh, Ian's board response to is another great one. Yeah, that that wait. one actually got me motivated to get off my duff and work out. Wait, with, what was it? It's Guptil working out with milk cartons. Oh, that's right. When Guptil is trying to match all that guy's like, uh, like workout records yeah, this is funny. It's, it's like it, it's called Ina's board response to because it's response to uh, a smosh video where the guy clearly just shat together a video he's like I'm bored I'm gonna work out bro. this is like he's so he's he's responding to basically filler content and trying to beat it check this out yeah that's pretty cool that's the word Tron collider baby just say it just say it dude the you Wordatron? Know. Oh yeah. Just say it, Lyle! <laughs> you say it. Nergatron! It's the Negatron! Uh, it's like the Negaverse and Negaduck. See? Those aren't bad words. They're not bad yes, words, Yes, they are, Lyle. by definition! Don't do it! <laughs> <laughs> I, like, slapped him in the back of the head, he just yeah. didn't care. They, yeah, they do this sort of, like, little nod at you, like, okay, alright. Jesus, dude. They're invincible. Okay. Oh, Ratchet and Clank. That's our theme song. That's <laughs> just uh, my guy burping. My guy burping and going, <laughs> and clank. That should be. Ha <laughs> ha, you bitch. This is my favorite place. He can't do that. He has no soul. He He's does. He's transcended roboticism. That's why that guy freaked out. It's the first machine that's been able to feel. exactly is. That is such a great shader. Look at that. You like it? Yeah, I love this. What about those little ones running in the background? You like those? <laughs> Just dying over and over again? That's like the default, like, Richard Williams run cycle. Oh, the how to animate yeah. the animated guide to... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad or nothing. Yeah, that's better than a bad run cycle. <laughs> Didn't that guy say if you listen to music, he hates you and he wants to smash your toes with a hammer? Yeah. And he's right. If you don't pay attention oh, to what you're says, doing, don't listen to music while you work. Yeah, it's that whole famous bit at the start of the book, where he says, "You fucking idiot!" To me, that kind of just reads as like just him projecting his own inability to focus. Maybe. <laughs> Who was it? It was like, was it Quentin? No, it wasn't Quentin Tarantino. It was a uh, fucking Christopher. No, was it Christopher Nolan? Someone was like, if you watch a movie on a phone, I'll kill you in your house. Really? Someone. I think it was Christopher Nolan. I, I could be wrong. People can see that as like, what a fucking asshole. Watch a movie anyway, please. But you know what? I think it's more like he really just wants you to watch it the he way it's intended. He wants you to see it on a big ass screen. Yeah, because you'll, it's miss, more cooler. you'll miss things if you watch it on your phone. I know, I know Christopher Nolan got mad. At like he was like I'm gonna put Dunkirk in the movie even though there's a pandemic because if someone if someone doesn't watch my movie in the theaters I'll I'll fucking kill their dog I'll kill their family I'm Christopher Nolan. But Dunkirk Direct came quote. out way before <laughs> the pandemic. Oh no, not Dunkirk. What was the one he released? I don't know. I haven't seen it. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, he was like 
he, he was basically just like, I'll, you'll, you should never watch. But you know what? His movies all blow your fucking eardrums out. I'd rather <laughs> yeah, watch it when I have... He's got the worst sound mixer I've ever fucking seen. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Okay. No, it is true. Like, you can never even hear what the fuck people are saying, even if there's, like, nothing behind what they're saying. It's like, they, they mix their voices so weird. I yeah, don't understand and they, it. And then they fucking explode your ears when anything, like, action-oriented happens. People like, who mix movies like that for the theater are the biggest pieces of shit. Yeah. No. I hate it when you're watching a fucking movie and you have to keep turning it up and down. That yep. is a frustrating thing about a lot of, like, theatrical releases. They don't really, like, mix them for home viewing. I, like, they, I, there should be two tracks, like, uh, fucking... A movie track where they, you know, want the intense parts to be super intense, and then a home thing where everything is just normalized. But obviously that would take a little more effort. More effort than this industry is ever going to be willing to put in. I would still prefer a home theater mix over a movie mix. Yeah, I, even I, in the movie theater. I would like, too, yeah. I don't want to fucking do that. I'm watching everything on my phone until the whole of Hollywood obliges. I love you. Thanks, man. Lyle. Yes. Beat the video, okay. Damn it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Right, 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 left, left, right, right, left, left, left. We're back on it. I think that was your best sync test ever, Lyle. That's actually, it means a lot to me because I've been practicing at home for the sync test. Well, you did it. You done nailed it. I don't yeah. think it could get any better. Well, I, good to know I've peaked. <laughs> uh, good old match it and pank. Good friends, great times, Fucking A. I don't remember what was going on. It's been a while since we played this. Oh yeah, we were doing this thing. It's Guru Larry. What? I don't- I actually don't know who Guru Larry is. <laughs> Wait, what, well then why'd you name drop him? Like he was your biffle. Cause, cause he looked like a cause, guru. Cause I saw a guy that was a guru and I just said, look, it's Guru Larry. Oh, okay, that's definitely not- that's definitely not the purpose he serves. See, I wouldn't know. Guru Larry was the final remaining member on Channel Awesome, but he was staking it out like a survivor type uh, situation. So he was doing it ironically by the end. Honestly, pretty proud of him. I am too. I feel like he deserves a lot more recognition than he gets. We should talk about Doug finally responded. Oh yeah, the man himself, Doug Walker. Uh, so he saw the jokes we were making, he started slamming his desk, he kicked his fucking computer. Yeah. He said, get me the fucking president right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how it happened. It's how I like to think it did. He took it like a good old sport. Good old sport. Because he recognized that there was no ill will behind it, and that makes me grin. Huh. You know what I saw today? Can we talk about this? Can we? Talk about whatever you want. Um... Well, uh, today, for some reason, someone tagged me in a conversation with Linkara, but because he has me blocked, I couldn't see it, so I had to go into it incognito. But it, it was Linkara getting told by some guy, your streams don't get as much views as Doug. And then Linkara responded, oh, yeah. and he said, Okay, let's do a little experiment, shall we? And he went onto their YouTube and was posting screenshots being like, I get 1,000 more viewers than Doug. I'm better than him. His channel sucks. And he's like being a big prick about it. Wait, really? Like yeah. he was like openly like <laughs> shit talking yeah, this, was like all that? Yes. this was all because some like complete, just like a stranger. Nobody he knows, nobody we know. Just some person on the internet was like, come on, man. Doug's, Doug's streams are doing better than you. And that like set him off. And he did this whole public tirade. And it makes me just think, like, you know what, maybe I don't feel so bad. Also, what? Look at the... No. Look at the, the capture and then look at it on the right. That's what it's supposed to look like over there. I mean, the Elgato's capturing it fine, but we're getting, like, a really washed out image. Makes it look more filmic, doesn't it? Might it? it might just be the settings on the television. The smell of vision No, you know what? I could have sworn this happened with uh, Dark Souls as well. Yeah, you're right. You think the pass-through on it is just not as great as it, they make it out to be? Uh, well, think about it. You're Elgato. Hmm, how can I cut corners and make more money? Either that or you just have like an HDMI cable that can't do HDR or something. Maybe. But Lyle, isn't it more fun to imagine the Tom and Jerry man? It's actually more fun to imagine the Tom and Jerry man, you're right. <laughs> We've got to have more money. We've got to have more money. 
Mm. Why are you playing as this fucking babe? Because it's cool. I like the topiary stinkler. I uh, I didn't buy it until way too late in my game, and then I tried it like at the end of the game, and I was like, you know what? This is pretty sweet. What does it do? Oh, you'll see what it do. The speedle. Oh, oh that's the speedle. Uh, hold on. I forget the fucking controls in this game. This thing has a boost, and I intend to find what button does it. It's not that button. You need to button. use the boost <laughs> <laughs> to get through. Button. There it is. There we go. Woo. Okay. That thing is dead now, and I don't care. Yeah, that's right. I said it. The ever disposable speedle. Oh, that was the topiary thing. Yeah, you it's just, like a sprinkler that turns him into you plants. Just turned you just like Grin Fandango sprouted everything. Yeah, and uh, check this out. <laughs> works on everything. Yeah, it works on bosses. Oh my god, that's really cool. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Hey, Tomar. Yeah. If uh, if God like came down to you, like like if he beamed down from the sky. Uh, and he said, I'm gonna remove your teeth so that your nerve endings are all hanging out like little, like, worms. Ah! But, uh, he said, you're gonna be like this for a week and it's gonna be a lot of pain, but you can bring back any person from the dead. Would you do it? Oh, yeah, I think so. Who would you bring back from the dead? See, I hadn't thought that far ahead, but there's gotta be somebody that that would be worth it for. You have to do it right now. Like, right now. Come up with someone right now, and if you don't, within ten seconds, that's the, it. Uh, I mean... Like, I just say my gr uh, my grandma. Aww. <laughs> Me too. Now, would it bring her back old, though? Or would it bring her back, like... It brings her back, but she's made out of nerve endings. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> now, it sounds like, now it sounds like torture. <laughs> she's in horrifying pain. And no, it's all I wouldn't fault. bring back my grandma if it was that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd bring back Miura, because it would just give him more street cred, and he could keep writing Berserk. Aww. Oh, yeah, he died. Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. Like, I feel like he wouldn't mind as much being a big pile of nerve endings, because that sounds like something he'd draw. True. That makes me proud of him. I read exactly. in his autobiography I it. that writing Berserk made him go Berserk, and that's why he called it Berserk. I don't know about that, but I do think there was something about him, like, like he really did, like, live the, the job of, of doing that comic, and it did... Put him into some kind of chronic depression for a bit. That's like a really common thing and with those fucking guys. Yeah. It, if you look into like the workflow of that kind of shit, it is actually fucking insane. And then Seems the other awful. story is the, the yeah, it was some magical girl anime. I think like Ma Madoka Magica or, so, or actually, I'm not sure which one it is, but some magical girl anime was what brought him out of his funk, and that's supposedly why he made the character Shirky, who's basically a medieval magical girl she's a little witch girl no i need to watch it i watched the one from Don't the watch. 90s yeah, you but can watch the one from yeah you can watch them from so the 90s it's so hard to fuck cuz I, I i was like i want to watch that again cuz it's been like fucking like 15 years since i've seen it so i was like i want to watch it again i cannot find it anywhere for the life of me the, the newer stuff is like literally unwatchable. Yeah, it's not good. Don't don't watch the new stuff. I remember I, I bought a bunch of those movies and they were all 3D and I was like, oh no. Yeah, the new stuff looks even worse than the movies. <laughs> that sucks. Ew. He, he looks like a sick animation drawing. Lombax. <laughs> oh my god. Sucking on Raffy's toes. What? Sucking on Okay. You were being honest. As I have been saying. Now beat his head in. Make his microchips your microchips. A lot like mine. Evil like him too. And that Lombax. I know it might sound crazy, but you think he is your dimensional counterpart. And you've been skirting around some choice language. <laughs> Look, whatever's going on here, we're gonna fix it. We? I thought robots are not your thing. Not all of them, just most. You know, like the Emperor. Dude, I think I'm going to cry. So I'm pirates. one of the good ones, is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, I see the irony too. Oh, I apologize. Oh, I you, you thought your little up. arm toy was a robot. You Let me explain this to you. <laughs> Even though I just watched your brain diary thingy? I have brain diary, yeah. <laughs> Never tell you about the diarrhea critic. <laughs> Wait, what? 
the, Please go on, Lyle. The, 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 di the diarrhea critic, I regret to inform you, is not a real thing. But the diarrhea oh. critic was, uh, it was, a, it was our manager actually. We were in, I forget, we, we were like running some kind of a fucking errand. Like it, it wasn't like hanging out. We were in like a fucking when, Home Depot or something. When you say our manager, are you talking about Helix? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Wow. And and we, for some reason, we had come up with this character. I was talking about like the diarrhea critic. And we were just like, just, you know, it's what you'd expect. Like, oh, this is total diarrhea. And he like ranks movies in terms of <laughs> diarrhea. And then we, we were just making like really like bad, like not, not funny jokes about just like putting the word diarrhea in movie titles. And then I, I thought of a good one and I didn't want to say it because we were like in the checkout line. So there were like people already looking at us because we were fucking talking about diarrhea. Yeah. But... I, I thought of one and I just started fucking laughing because it was a it was like the perfect one and like everyone was started fucking looking at me because I was like cackling and he was like dude just say it you, you you're already here yeah and I was like fine you know the review that really put him on the map was the diarrhea of Anne Frank <laughs> <laughs> but like everyone saw me say that yeah. and I like choked it out and uh, I don't regret we'll it get on his back you're kind of a scumbag yeah a little bit. Yeah, I get fucked, you asshole. This game still looks so good. Even desaturated like this? Yes, even desaturated. Like only we can see and not none of the viewers back at home. I think they might see it more saturated. Also, you want to know something really fucked up? What, what's really fucked up? Well, um, one of the first times I got horny to a moving naked lady was in a that works was in an Anne Frank docu or an Anne Frank biopic. <laughs> Wait, why? Because it was one of the first like moving naked ladies I ever saw was when they're all being rushed into the showers naked. No, okay, oh, you God. have to cut that out. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I didn't know no better. I was really young. Oh boy! <laughs> I can't help that. I don't uh, even know. I think, I think that's a perfectly innocent story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, leave it in. It's only fucked okay. up. In, it's only fucked up in retrospect. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! I was definitely not old enough to know what the fuck was going on. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> but you know something? She was fucking hot. <laughs> Life do be kind of wacky <laughs> like that. A little bit. Uh, okay, if you want to leave that in there, we can leave it in there. But I didn't do nothing wrong. I guess uh, you can't. You can't help it. Pony plays did nothing wrong. Shoot the that stupid thing! Oh, you know I'm gonna. Also, I don't know if you caught it, but this totally works on it. Uh, oh, yeah, come on, turn around. Your, there you go. Your, your topiary, tertiary. Yeah, there it is. Planting it up with the best of us. See, ain't it cool how the regular old crappy pistol turns into this spragged thing? It is cool. We need more spragged weapons in video games. <laughs> I agree. This is like the buckshot from Noida. Sure is. Oh, dude. We gotta play more Noida. Yeah, Noida's fun. I feel like it got way better at I, it. I like watching you play Noida. I... I feel so, like, overwhelmed when I play it because of all the billion okay, spells boss? that I don't... T I've never bothered to understand how any of them work. You are boring. <laughs> Don't shake me, please. You are a Mary Sue, and you do nothing wrong. She fucks up. I mean, she actually just did fuck up. She was, like, being a bitch to him. Okay, you're right. I was being a Mary Sue. She's okay. I, I, I don't actually dislike this character. Yeah, you do. I did at this point, I will say. She gets better later. That's still a cool effect. Still stands up. Yeah. That is my Still favorite effect. Still stands up just two months later. Can you believe it? Yep. Has it really I been mean, two months? I don't know. Fast, man. What does it say? Phantom. Moy Phantom. Captain Quantum. That said cock on. Cock on. <gasps> Me. I hate her lips. I want to punch her in the face. <laughs> I want to just shave her so she looks like a normal person. She was designed specifically to make furries horny. She's a freedom fighter and everything. She might as well just be a Sonic the Hedgehog OC. Sonic das Hedgehog, yeah. Sonic der Hedgehog. Der Hedgehog. Wait, so this is No Man's Sky? Yeah, a yeah. little bit. Okay. It's a little bit No Man's Sky. No Man's Except Polanski. Except in this instance, it is some man's Polanski. sky. What's on your mind? You're not allowed to think. I never programmed that into you. Come on, let's hear it. 
They cursed me with ruminating. <laughs> a witch <laughs> in my head. Perhaps it is because of me that the dimensions are falling. Still bothers me. There's there's like basically no robot characters in anything that just think way too fast. That just it like it constantly catches people off guard. Like even in you know the Terminator movies. Yeah. You think they'd just be making like choices on the fly that would just be destroying the fuck out of everything around them, but they like they react and move like like humans. That's true. Like, I, I'm sure that in lore they do, but, like, it doesn't read to screen, obviously. It would, because, make, it would make them way too overpowered. Yeah, probably. because yeah. because then you couldn't, like, hide behind a box from them or something, or, like... I would still be interested to see if they could do a movie where they could pull that off and make it work the whole way through. Um, they're just like, I can't see you, so there's a 98.9% .9 probability you're behind that box. You're yeah, it's like, pretty much <laughs> if you enter their line of sight, you'd be dead, like, instantly. Yeah, they wouldn't have to line up the shot. Yeah. You'd just be, you'd just be done. And their fucking little, like, AI algorithms would have <laughs> them never miss. Yeah, I feel they like- They could predict, like, like, the three most likely directions you'll move and just fire all three bullets faster than you could think, like... That would be a really interesting, at least short film. I don't know. It's about, yeah, about someone being hunted by a robot like that and somehow finding a, a, a clever way to... To survive, that was kind of like that Black Mirror with the robot dog, but that wasn't very interesting. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, I know the one you're talking about. For some reason, I always mix up Cambridge Analytica. I want to say, but it's it's the other one, the fucking uh, Boston Dynamics. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Like that. That's the weird thing is like when you write something like that, you then have to make them like also stupid somehow because otherwise, like, how would a fucking normal person? Like live through it, you know. Yeah. Or you've got to also make the person a thing. You know what I mean? Oh, they got to be a thing. You're back in regular people town. Yeah, and I always was, except when I wasn't. Is this like an overworld? This is uh, this is like a little side zone. You you come here to, you'll see. Uh, because I got to do it in a sec. Oh, okay. So it would be it would be kind of a spoiler to tell you what it was. Please do play on. You know what? I could smash that, but I know it would bother someone a lot if I left it. <laughs> oh, it bothered me. <laughs> <laughs> there it shall remain. Don't talk to that. Yeah, no, I, I refuse yeah, to engage with you. Yeah, don't don't let that thing think think it's people. No. Look at all these colorful characters. I have a friend who gets really angry when uh. When he sees robots that are like overly cute. Oh yeah? Yeah. Because he's like... I mean, it's a good point. He's like, we, we can't view robots as these cute things. That's what they're gonna fucking kill us. It's like, maybe. It's, it's kind true. of a good point. The slippery Namaste. robot slope. Peace be with you, Rivet. Hey, Zir oh yeah, that's Mr. Have Zircon. Have you seen our favorite first mate anywhere? I need a signal booster. Well, well, well. We meet again, my wee shame. <laughs> I love these character designs. Yeah, no, they're they're good. I like this guy. Fruitless effort to win my affection. Give me the part, Pierre. Diamond again. I tell you. Suck his ass. <laughs> you must rim my rusty ass. <laughs> <laughs> you better take a tetanus shot. <laughs> because I've been eating nothing but rust. Pirate extraordinary. I'll fight you for it. <laughs> Xerxes is a violent spree, so take it outside. Uh, if you insist, dude, if you insist. I am more lover than fighter. For you, I will always make an exception. Ready to kick some robo butt? I have many issues with that question. How long is this game, Lyle? Uh, uh, not super long. Maybe like 10 hours? That's long enough. Yeah, it's 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 like it does not stay it's welcome, but it's not it's not like I think ten hours is perfect for a triple A game. It 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 was like I when I finished it I was like that was the the perfect length. I genuinely can't believe I used to enjoy sixty hour games as a kid. I can't even fathom doing that now. Yeah, every now and again I'll I'll play something that'll actually hold my interest for that long, but usually I'll play like Two or three hours or something, and then if I'm like, I kind of get what this is doing, I'll usually put it down. If, if it's still showing me stuff at like the three to four hour mark, then like introducing new shit, then I'm like, okay, I'll keep going. I, was gonna yeah. say, I get addicted to like 
non-story-ish games for 60 plus hours, like Factorio and stuff like that. But yeah, like, the last long story game I played like that was Persona 5, and that really was just too long. I'm, I'm playing I still through Yakuza it, but... 7 right now, and the, that, that's that been the first one for a while that's done it. Although, the only reason I stuck with that one as long as I had, it was because uh, Kyle was like, you will love this game, you just have to like get into it. And I was like, okay. But I, I, I would have almost put it down, like I, I was like about to, and he, <laughs> there, there was like two separate occasions where he had to be like, no, just keep going, you're almost there. And did you get there yeah now, now i'm there it took a while but now i'm there now i'm there if only the game could just have you there from the start the the pro the prologue was okay like it definitely set you up but then it after the prologue then like the real game starts and then you're back in tutorials so yeah was, uh. I, don't know. I, I don't want to bitch about a game we're not even playing especially not one that i'm, I'm done liking right now but yeah, I thought you were fighting Captain What's-His-Face. Uh, no, he pushed out, now I'm fighting as many lads. This is just, this is just an excuse for an arena level. Yeah, basically. Th this is where you go to, like, go to the arena and bathe with people. You know what I mean? Oh, I know what I you was mean. following you until the bathing part. Well, you should have still been following. Because that's where the real money is. In group bathing? Yeah. It's a growth industry. People love to take baths together, Tomar. They love it. I mean, in some countries, sure. They, they love to take baths with strangers, no less. Is that a th that's got to be something somewhere in some culture, yeah, right? In, in, in South Korea, I think. But do they pay the strangers they bathe with? Or are they the strangers to someone else's bathing experience? They're, they're all the strangers to each other's bathing experience. Yeah. See... I feel like there could be a middleman in there making a lot of money, and that's the niche he's I want to fill. Pa he's being paid just to bathe with strangers, you're saying? Paid to bathe, forced to die. You know the story. It's a tale <laughs> as old as time. Tomar. Yes? You know when people get those uh, stretchy hoops in their ears? You Plugs? mean like the gauges? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I know that. Would you... No. Would you take... <laughs> One million dollars to do that to your ball sack? Oh, no. <laughs> oh. no, I actually wouldn't. A million? Really? I basically, wouldn't. you would would you cut your ball sack off for a million dollars? Well, no, no, you would just have a hole going through your ball sack, and this thing would kind of hold it together. Uh, okay, no, Tomer, I hate that. Ten million dollars? No, no. Wait, so what? what? You uh, can fix it with like, like a few thousand. That's like cheating, though. The whole point is that I, I committed to that, right? Th that's I your making you do it. <laughs> no. No. You're, you're basically yelling at him for not trying to weasel out of the hypothetical. I'm yeah, not, come on now. I'm saying that you have to have it done. Uh, you know what? You're right. Never mind. Look, it sounds extremely painful and uncomfortable, and like, just the very thought makes me like sick to my stomach. Okay, 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 instead of one in the center, how about you have two gauges on each nut and, and the ball is hanging exposed out of each one? <laughs> That's even worse! <laughs> but now you get a hundred million dollars. <sighs> you can become a titan of industry with that. I could do that. a lot for a lot of people with a hundred million dollars. I'd, I'd consider that. Wow. For, for that many figures, you're, I consider... You're a hero. You do that for me? I'm not saying I'd give you all the money. I think well, he was talking... You were talking more like world hunger, right? I uh, mean, and, you know, and, and I probably still would want to start some kind of media company, too. That'd be cool. But yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd open like a... Like a Tomar Media Corp? A Jaxi and Tomar... Tomar foundation the tomar foundation yeah the tomar like a, slash clinton like a bill, foundation like the bill and melinda gates <laughs> foundation but with tomars now would you still do that if part of the condition is your foundation must state that the reason you have that money is because you have gauges in your balls uh i mean that's a little embarrassing but it's kind of like how would people not find that out you just don't show them your balls. Is that off the table? Oh, I guess I never thought of it that way. <laughs> okay, Tomar, think of this. Um, you know those compasses that are like circles where you, you, you rotate them to like close? You, you, have, you ever see those? 
You mean for for drawing for circles? circles? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You rotate it and it, and it, it like it closes in kind of like a cool like Star Trek door. Yeah. Okay, so you got that right now. Also on the back of the Vive headset, you got that thing you twist to tighten it. Okay. Yeah, the little knob. So. Imagine you have your sphincter removed, uh, and they have this compass put in as your new sphincter, and you have to use that little dial on the back of the Vive headset, headset to open and close your asshole. I have to manually operate my <laughs> sphincter for the rest of my life? Yeah, but you get paid $48 a second. $48 a second, huh? For the rest of your life. That sounds like a lot of money, but I don't know. I don't actually know that that's worth it. Yeah, having a like broken butthole, it would probably, like you'd have to like replace it every like few months probably. Yeah, at that point, I might as well just get like a colostomy bag. <laughs> you wouldn't do that for forty eight dollars a a minute or a second? A second, he said. That is that is That's good. A lot. That is good money. <laughs> it's pretty good. There's few rates of pay that high, and I make that twenty four seven. Uh, yeah, for the rest of your life. Oh boy. That's basically unlimited money. But you do have to literally, like, manually open and close your asshole with a dial. Letting shit <laughs> spill out. You don't even get to push it out. These ones are, no. always, these ones are always tough. Okay, yeah. wait, hold on. If I have my asshole closed, and I have to shit, and I go, what uh, happens? Let me do a little math. Hold Nothing. on. You can't push. You don't have those muscles no so more. So, are, are you saying, like, if I have to shit, and I don't want to shit, I can just leave my asshole closed and then dump it all out at the end of the day? Yeah, but you might get sick. That's a risk that's worth taking. Oh, probably. wow, that is really good money. That's that's really How much good is money. It? <laughs> what, what, what's that turn into? What uh, is that annually? You said it was 48 per second, right? Yep. So times 60, and that's per minute, and then times 60. No, and I already that's... got how many seconds are in a year. Ooh, so I would be making 1.5 trillion? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I guess... <laughs> That's pretty good. 1.5 billion dollars a year. That's real. Yeah, that's really I, solid. I think I could make that work for me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I I would do the I would do the manual butthole for for 1.5 trillion a year. Now every time you spend money though you have Sorry, to billion, tell them. Sorry, billion, but still. You have to tell them every time you spend money though that you have a crank that opens and closes your butthole, and that's where this money comes from. And Jaxie leaves you immediately. No, 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 You're not no. thinking of the potential situations <laughs> like... Like you're trying to shit and the fucking dial breaks off and you're fucked and you can't see back there. You could have a shit dial replacer like on staff for just such an occasion. True. I was gonna say. And if it's really that miserable, you'd probably get it after the first time. I was gonna say, what really forces me to keep this thing too? Like, couldn't I also afford a hitman to kill the guy that <laughs> that's gonna hold me to this? That's also the guy paying you though, I would assume. Oh, I see. So if I kill him, I... Maybe I just put up with it long enough to just get like... I do it for like a few years, get a few billion, and and then and then terminate the deal and and have a normal rectum put back in. I love ignoring this here. like like this emotional moment to talk about a robotic asshole. I bet they both have robotic assholes. She does. Wow. Another Lomax. I love how they render the eyes. Yeah, it's good looking. Meh. But like, it's not ratchet and clank anymore. Now it's just bitch and clank. I don't want to play. <laughs> just, like. Like I didn't pay for this. Yeah, you did. You it's, ratchet, did. it's ratchet and well, snatch it and clank. On the cover, it says ratchet and clank. Slightly misrepresented. You did get slightly mis. Yeah, you got you got misled a little bit. My adoring fans, enjoy. I don't know. Tomar drew this part. How did you know? From the shitty artwork. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. It's actually not bad. I'm just trolling. It's just a troll. Of Squillion? It's like seventy-eight dollars. I know, right? I could buy you so many gumballs. <laughs> Why is this part animated like this? What do you mean? It looks How? different. Yeah, it's a it kind of looks strange. like they had a storyboard and they didn't have time to animate this part, so they just used the storyboard. I think this was intentional. Sure. Okay, Lyle. You can't do that, buddy. Bless you. Thank you. You know why people say bless you when you sneeze? Uh, I've heard it because your soul's about to come out and it crams it back in. Because people are afraid your heart will turn off when you sneeze. Really? Yep. 
Oh, so it's in case you die? Yeah. So I, that, I heard it was something like people think your soul temporarily leaves your body when you sneeze. I think and that's like, that's actually a Simpsons they, thing. A Simpsons joke. I don't know. Who can There's, tell the difference between reality and Simpsons anymore? <laughs> that's true. Dude, so much of like 80s Simpsons like Whoa. infiltrated fucking like the ethos of like playground rumors <laughs> to the point where it might have it might as well become reality. At a certain point. Dude, this area looks phenomenal. This area, you get something real cool in it. Hey, and it's uh, that guy's respect. Ratchet? Ratchet! Gary! He's a fan. Yeah. He's the guy that uh, was the ghost in Clank's Lemmings minigame. I remember that. I can't believe how good that looks. Look at that. Yeah, it's great. That! Look at that background! Yeah, it's real cool. What? Look at what? it on the other screen. It's kind what? of more how it's supposed to look. Wow. A flying sniper bot? That's a new Shut one. up. A flying sniper bot? Shut up, Titus. <laughs> on my birthday? <laughs> they should make the next Grand Theft Auto with this engine. Yeah, they... I don't know if this is the same one they used for Spider-Man. The Spider-Man? Uh... It's the same, it's, they're both Insomniac, so I don't know if they use, like, the same physics engine, but, uh, I'd assume if they had one lying around. Unpopular opinion time, I fucking hate that game. Wait, it what, is a little bit game? like the, the Spider-Man game. It, it's kind which, of a which chores one? game. Insomniac's one. It's boring as hell. Oh, the, what, the, the one they made for the PS4, like... Yeah, swinging around in that feels like nothing. You're doing literally nothing. It's like Assassin's Creed holding up to just run up an entire building. And I don't disagree, I probably played about 15 to 20 hours of that game just doing mindless crap, and it is just like another... And you don't want to do half the, like, mini games and crap they give you because they're not fun. But I'll, all I wanted to do is swing around with, like, lots of weight. <laughs> That's all I want. But like you can jump off of buildings and then, then hit the ground and there's no consequence. It's just, it's just sucked ass. Is that Miles Morales one any good for the PS5? I, I still assume haven't played it's the same that. Thing. It, it's about the same. Okay. They're games that like wouldn't be good if you weren't Spider-Man. You are Spider-Man, so maybe you could you could argue that that makes it okay. But it, it's not like you're doing anything like super out of the ordinary with it. Look, there's two categories of people, right? People who like shitty games and people who don't like shit. No, I'm kidding. There's there is two categories of people though, right? One where you can be con you can be content with doing nothing and the game does everything for you and you just enjoy relaxing to it, right? Or you can have ADD autism where you really want to be doing every little thing yourself and that's me. I feel like a lot of people are a healthy medium. I'm not a I definitely have fucking something When I say a lot of people, brain. I mean myself. I like all sorts of different types of games. When it comes to like swinging around a momentum, I want to be doing everything because that's the whole point. No, I get that. That's what makes the PS2 one still fun. Yeah. No, like it's it's definitely like we replayed it. That yeah. the, that's the most the recent. The combat is ass, it. but it's funny like trying out all the different moves on people. Yeah. But the swinging feels amazing to this day because it just feels. Yeah, it's still like, really fun. But I will say the PS4 one, the like all the different suits were really cool. Yeah. There, there's certain things I really like about the PS4 one, but it, it's the city it's, looked really good. I I kind of disagree with you on the swinging thing, but it, it's I I, I heard see that what once you, you unlock new moves, it gets better. I was but gonna also, say, the game definitely like yeah like when you have your full move set, it's definitely more fun to move around. But still, the PS2 one was fun from the beginning, and you're just upgrading it. Oh look at that little guy. You all right? That was quite the landing. Oh look, well, it's Pank, Yelank. It's so Schwank. Familiar. I'm Ratchet. I'm here to find. I think it was Gary's apprentice. Gary Brosma. I need to build a dimensionator. Oh dear. I like how he tried to say it like like he's pretending like he doesn't know to a store clerk like oh I I, I kind of wanted to buy this uh this movie it's like an erotic <laughs> thing maybe eh, I don't know it's like a gift. Maybe we could work together? Don't touch it. Don't touch that thing. Do not make a great partner. Hmm. How about this? If things go badly, which they won't, we go our separate ways. No questions asked. Team? 
I need to wear you on my back. You look like someone I know, so I'm going to implicitly trust you. You remind me of the guy from Little Nicky with tits on his head. <laughs> I like you. All right, here it is. So, yeah. Ooh. Oh, so you get these. That's fun. And, uh... You can use these at any point in time. It's not just this level. See, this is awesome. This level is kind of like open worldy. I was gonna say, now you're just in the game Destiny. <laughs> a little bit. They, they just wanted to give you like a big like open zone to kind of like test these out, I think. And they thought, what better place than Destiny? That's true. <sighs> oh. So when you're flying around on those boots, is there any way for you to smash into shit and hurt yourself? Uh, I don't think so. See, that's what makes it boring. Hmm. After, like, it's cool to get to places faster, but wouldn't it be cool if you could actually, like, think about what you're doing as that's you're doing true. it? That's true, yeah. It would be cool if you could eat shit. Then there'd be a reason to actually put shit everywhere so you could dodge it. Yeah. This is kind of the the big, like, open-worldy level. Like, you can do a lot here that I'm probably not gonna do. These things, like, you can... Like, from, from just, like, a standing, like, point, you can, like, get on them and start going. And you can get going pretty fast, pretty... pretty quickly. Yeah. So you can use them to kind of, like, cheese jumps and shit like that, sort of, like, Mario Odyssey style. There is one of our senior archivists. Ah, oh. yes, an archivist. Just was, what we wanted. Was he who I wanted to talk to? Hey, fuckhead, are you who I want to talk to? Can it be? A brother Lombax? You, uh, know we're not related, right? You know that, uh, we can totally do stuff with each other and our babies won't turn out, uh... You know. I love that guy's design. Yeah, they're neat looking, those, like, alligator dudes. Every design has been good. They're very cartoony, which I like. I'll hook you up with a sweet piece of armor I dug up. Lombax Shrine? I'll totally help. Radical! One last thing. Shrines won't open if there are bad vibes nearby. Yeah, these so guys are like the Ninja Turtles and Bebop had a baby. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Okay, you can run into those. That's cool. If you run into an enemy, you can take damage. <laughs> Didn't you make a comment earlier about things getting electrocuted and going, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this delivered. Yeah. I'm gonna have these fungies going out. This game gets pretty cool when there's like these big encounters like this, because it's just fucking explosions and shit everywhere. Kind of turns into a mess, but that's that's where it gets fun. If I played this as a kid, it would be like the best thing in the world. Yeah, it's definitely like... Like, I, I feel like if you're, if you're still impressed by video games being fun, I, I know that that <laughs> sounds bad. But like, you know, like at, at a point you've played so many fucking video games that it's just like, all right, you know, you start to recognize the mechanics that you see repeated over and over and over again. That's what I'm saying. But uh, the older you get, the more you notice it. Yeah. And the more you're just like, I want to experience something new. I still think that this does enough to where I, I, I really enjoyed this game. Do they share weapon loadouts? Yes, they do. How convenient. Uh, the, the official reason for that is that the, the sales robot can't tell you guys apart. So the sales robot is like a multi-dimensional being? Did yeah, I think she just holds all your shit. Or she's some kind of hive mind or something where like they're all... And they're, they're all quantum interconnected. linked between timelines? I guess. Naturally. It <laughs> would suck if they didn't. <laughs> so. I, know. I mean, I would have thought it'd be cool if you just made their play styles different and gave them separate equipment, but... You know, I'm, I, I kind of disagree with that. Like, You're right. I, I every, always... every game that does that, it never works out. You're always like, I wish I was playing the other one right now. Yeah, the only thing that they have different is like the wrench and the hammer. They're, they just kind of function like very, very slightly differently. Where the wrench just kind of goes out in a straight line and the hammer goes in an arc. I actually remember Batman Arkham City. Mm. Like, you play as Catwoman, and I remember there was a part oh, where... Yeah. I remember it was like a it was like a pre-order bonus or like a special edition bonus where it was like, Play as Catwoman. And I was like, I, I didn't pre-order the game, but I remember it being sold to me as some kind of bonus that I was getting. And like, every time that I was playing as Catwoman, I was like, I wish I wasn't playing as Catwoman <laughs> right sure now. I'm pretty sure the game starts you off as Catwoman, right? 
maybe it does it pretty early on i think she's pretty important to the story too so that game would be really fucking weird without her but i, I just remember like hating those parts but we'll let brother gary know you rescued us there, Good luck, there they go i can't believe they're all dead you turned them into soup. This is something where this zone, I, I kind of question, may, maybe they could have done it on last gen hardware, but you're moving a little fast. Like this seems like a like a PS4 game would have had trouble like loading you in. Really? Yeah. I played this game where you were a shark called Maneater on, yeah, on yeah. the PS4. And like I upgraded my speed too much and the game was just like not having it. Wait, Jaxie played that on the PS5, I remember watching her, but it, were, it ran great on that. Yeah, that was an alright game. It, it, it's it's fun for the first few hours, and then you're like, okay, I kind of... Yeah, then they get you into a bit of a loop. There, now they can all say yo 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 together. <laughs> That'd be great if you could get Mike Judge on as a guest. Just saying, just throwing that out there. Yeah, Mike, you need to come on. On to Oni plays? Yeah, just literally just so he can sit in the corner and go boing, <laughs> boing. Like Judge is one of my heroes. Yeah, dude, King of the Hill is... I, I remember thinking it was kind of boring as a kid, and now I think it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 like legitimately one of the like best adult cartoons ever made. It's very like... When you're a kid, you're just kind of like, these guys aren't wacky or telling jokes, but as an adult, you're like, I've met this guy. I know this fucking guy. <laughs> Is there a good way to watch that now? King of the Hill? It was streaming on something. I was gonna say, it was on, I think, like, Hulu for a while. I don't I know what it's my on Netflix. right now. I'm sick of Netflix. I've been, like, alternating, where I just kind of get one and then, like, have it for a couple months, and then once I feel like there's nothing to watch on this, I like cancel it and get another one. It's getting to be where there's way too fucking many of them. It's basically cable at this point. Disney Plus was like already feeling like, all right, now there's a lot, and then Paramount Plus came out, or with Paramount, whatever. But the Paramount one came out, and I just did the trial of it so we could watch Jackass the movie too, and then. <laughs> I let it expire. I actually found like Hulu has gotten like better shit than Netflix recently. Really? My name on Hulu is Jesus, so I don't know why. <laughs> Did you do it on purpose? Maybe a guy I... named Jesus just came here and logged in once and it's not even your account. Maybe. That's such a satisfying weapon. Yeah. It reminds me a little bit of like the Spartan laser in Halo. Oh, just... that was the most satisfying thing to get kills with. Yeah, I, I think because it takes like a little while to charge unlike the rockets It just like feels really good when you just murder someone with it Leave alone leave the cat alone Dude remember to leave Brittany alone. Yeah, it was the best a guy ended up kind of being right <laughs> It's kind of the <laughs> fucked up thing. Wow. It has been like 10 years. It's still going on. Yeah, that that's just fucking nuts where she's basically like I I don't know how crazy she actually is or like what like but like it's really really hard to actually get like power of attorney or like a conservatorship over like a functioning adult yeah so the the fact that they've managed to do it for so long despite it being like this big public thing where she's like yeah I specifically don't want this guy running it I remember like being like is that guy still alive like three years ago you found his scary fucking porn he has a scary porn? I didn't even know that. He just has very hardcore porn videos Chris out Crocker's there. Chris Crocker's scary porn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you pray to these rooms, Chris? Would you... Uh, depends about what. Are they uh, facing Mecca? Or are they <laughs> facing Jerusalem? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just asking, are they facing Mecca? Or are they facing Jerusalem? I mean, you're on a different planet. They're probably not facing either. Can you prove that? I mean, it might be rotated on its side, so that they're facing <laughs> up and down. Yeah, well, okay, you yeah, okay, you're facing Mecca. That's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> Thanks, Mecca. I'll be taking this.